name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal mystery. That is to say, of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may, also, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Glory you, Lord. To you, o Lord. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek, riding on an ass and on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went, out, went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. Their very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace.
almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, calls our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Oh my. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, and even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and even and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and when they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Jen Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and giving it to his disciples, said, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, from now on I shall not drink this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it with you new in the kingdom of my Father. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, This night all of you will have your faith in me shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him in reply, Though all may have their faith in you shaken, mine will never be. Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I should have to die with you, I will, end it, I will not deny you. And all the disciples spoke likewise. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, 
And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorry, sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you cannot keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the, fle the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again. My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a large crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged a sign with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus answered him, Friend, do what you have come for. Then stepping forward, they laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. And behold, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to the sword, drew it, and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its sheath, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot call upon my Father, and he will not provide me at this moment with more than twelve legions of angels? But then how would the scriptures be fulfilled? which say that it must come to pass in this way. At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day I sat teaching in the temple area, yet you do not arrest me. But all this has come to pass, that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Peter was following him at a distance as far as the high priest's courtyard, and going inside, he sat down with the servants to see the outcome. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. Though many false witnesses came forward, Finally, two came forward who stated, This man said, I can, I can destroy, destroy the temple, temple of God within and these three days, days rebuild, rebuild it. it. The high priest rose and addressed him. Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him in reply, you have said so. But I tell you, from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of, of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has blasphemed. What further need have we of witnesses? You have now heard the blaspheme. What is your opinion? They said in reply, He, he deserves, deserves to, to die. die. Then they spat in his face and struck him, while some slapped him, saying, Prophesy for us, for us Christ, Christ, who is that, that struck you. you. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You, you too were, were with, with Jesus, Jesus the, the Galilean. Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you're talking about. As he went out to the gates, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This, this man, man was, was with, with Jesus, Jesus the Nazarene. Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know this man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, 
Surely you too are the, one of them. Even, even your, your speech give, give you away. away. At that he began to curse and swear. I do not know the man. And immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. When it was morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, to the governor. Then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that Jesus had been condemned, deeply regretted what he had done. He returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. And they said, What is, what is it that to us? us? Look, Look to, to it yourself. yourself. Flinging the money into the temple, he departed and went off and hanged himself. The chief priest gathered up the money but said, It is, it is not, not lawful, lawful to, to deposit, deposit this, this in, in the, the temple, temple treasury, treasury for, for it, it is, is the, the price of blood. blood. After consultation, they used it to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. This is why that field, even today, is called the field of blood. Then was fulfilled what had been said through the Jeremiah, the prophet. And they took the 30 pieces of silver, the value of a man with a price on his head, a price set by some of the Israelites, and they paid it out for the potter's field, just as the Lord had commanded him. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and he questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he made no reply, no answer. Then Pilate said to him, do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. When he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with, with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, Which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Barabbas. Then Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? They all answered, Let, Let him, him be, be crucified. crucified. But he said, Why, what evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Let, Let him, him be, be crucified. crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His, His blood, blood is upon us and upon, and upon our, our children. children. Then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crowd out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, Hail King, King of the, of the Jews. Jews! They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, you who, who would destroy, destroy the, the temple, temple and rebuild it in three days, save, save yourself. yourself. If, if you, you are the, the Son of God, God then come, come down, down from, from the cross. cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, 
He saved others. He cannot, he cannot save, save himself. himself. So, so he is the king, king of Israel. Israel. Let, Let him come, come down, down from the cross, cross now, and we, and we will believe in him. He trusted, he trusted in God. God. Let, Let him deliver him now if he wants, if he wants him. For he said, I am, I am the Son of God. God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabbathani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, This, this one, one is, is calling, calling for Elijah. Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge, soaked it in wine, and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, Wait, Wait let us see if Elijah, Elijah comes to save him. him. But Jesus cried out in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and peered to many. The centurion and the men who were with, who were with keeping watch over Jesus feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening, and they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were many women there looking on from a distance who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen, laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there, facing the tomb. The next day, the one following the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember that this imposter, while still alive, said, after, After three, three days, days I will be raised, raised up. up. Give, Give orders on, then that the that grave the secured, secured until the third day, day lest his disciples come and steal him and say to the people, he has been raised from the dead. The, the last imposture would, would be the worse, first, worse than the first. Pilate said to them, The guard is yours. Go, secure it as best you can. So they went and secured the tomb by fixing the seal to the stone and setting the guard. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate Palm Sunday. The 40 days of Lent are nearly complete as we enter Holy Week. Today's readings began with Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Now, throughout the gospel, Jesus resists the limelight, resists when people try to claim him to be Messiah. Yet today, he enters with fanfare and rejoicing, the center of attention. Riding on a colt, a young, experienced foal of a donkey, this is how he chooses to ride into Jerusalem and triumph. Vast crowds streamed out of town to meet him. They were joyous, elated to see him. Some laid their cloaks on the road, and other cut branches from the trees and laid them before Jesus on the road, and they cried out, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The whole city was shaken, as we heard. Yet, in a few days, the city turns on him, and they crucify him. 
nailing him to a cross. As I stand here today in this empty church, my heart aches. This is not how I wanted to begin Holy Week. And I'm sure all of you have similar feelings. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined having our situation today. And as I look around this familiar place, my focus settles on the stations of the cross, especially today, each one depicting a small part of the passion we just proclaimed. One particular station that caught my attention today was the one concerning Simon the Cyrene. He bears the entire weight of the cross of Jesus while he is helping him stand back up. Now we read about Simon in the Passion narrative, and he got one short sentence in our lengthy gospel proclamation, many times overlooked. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. Simon becomes an unwilling participant in this story, much like the donkey who became a Christ-bearer on the entry to Jerusalem. God had a need for Simon. I am sure that Simon had other plans for that day. He was a visitor to Jerusalem, probably there to celebrate Passover. He had dreams and ambitions, plans for the day, plans for the week, and plans for his life. The last thing he wanted that day was to be caught up into the craziness that was surrounding him. I imagine he was drawn to the commotion, drawn to the noise and Suddenly, he finds himself in the middle of it. Yet he seizes the moment. Surrendering to God's will, he carries the cross, bearing some of Jesus' suffering. God called Simon. He had a need for him to participate in the life of Jesus. And through this encounter, Simon's life was never going to be the same. All of us find ourselves in this crazy and uncertain time. Our lives, our plans, our dreams have been disrupted. For many of us, life feels that it has been put on hold, and it has. For how long, we do not know. Many of us are enclosed within the walls of our homes. We didn't want this. And when we first heard of something that started so far away, the other side of the world, we looked on with curiosity, and suddenly we find ourselves in the middle of it. None of us at the beginning of Lent could have imagined being where we are today, but alas, here we are. Lent calls us to go out into the desert, to move closer to Jesus Christ, to pick up at the cross, and like Simon, to carry the cross. This Lent certainly has provided opportunity to do just that. Have we seized the moment? Have we surrendered ourselves to God? Have we grown closer to Christ? I pray that in a few months' time, we find, and we look back in time, that we find that we learn to appreciate our families a little bit more, learn to appreciate our friends and neighbors a little bit more, learn to appreciate life and the little things we take for granted a little bit more. Our gospel concludes today with Jesus' lifeless body lying in the tomb. Darkness surrounds the disciples, for they too thought that their lives, their plans, and their dreams had been put on hold, disrupted, or destroyed. I realize that we cannot be together this year, but please join us this week for the Tritium Liturgy, Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m., the Easter Vigil, Saturday at 8.30 p.m., and of course, the Easter services at 10 and noon on Sunday. Come to know the rest of the story. Come to discover salvation. Discover how much Jesus loves you and me and how he brings light and hope to a world in darkness. May God bless you. Amen.
Let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again into glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered in prayer on this day, we remember the Lord's passion for our salvation. Let us bring to our Lord our prayers. For the church all around the world during this holy week, may it be safe during this time of death and sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all peoples of all races and nations who seek peace in a world fixed on violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of penance, reflection, and gratitude as we approach Easter, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord this holy week, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, and for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Rita Mongorias, Leonard, Frida Southern, Gary Ruby, Joe Picard, Deacon Warner Washington, Roland Estrello, Father Stephen Casmus, Joanne Anderson, Virginia Marion, Bernice Dolan, and Bernadette Thomas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And, for the repose, and for the mass intentions of Father Abraham, the repose of the soul of Connie Butley, and for the mass intentions for Father Andrew, for the living and deceased members of St. Jude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, as we come together through prayer during this holy week. We ask you to help us to be united with you as we go through your passion, death, and resurrection. Strengthen us by the prayers we bring you this day. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Forever. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of His name, for our, our good, good and the good, good of all of His holy, holy Church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty, and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord. Lord. And, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray together the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your you. spirit. Bow your head for the blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your, on this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.